What is effective coaching? Hi guys, Derek here for Leadership Lessons. If you like this video, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications for new videos. In this video, we are going to examine an effective coaching technique and how to employ this technique in everyday situations. Organizations are looking for leaders that contain many different soft skills such as good communication, active listening, collaboration, knowledge, vision, strategic planning, focus, and cooperation. There is one leadership activity where all of these skills are needed to be successful for both the leader and the employee, and that activity is coaching. There are several different ways to coach, train, and develop others. In fact, Google returns over 300 million results on a simple Google search for coaching. There are many reasons why coaching is ineffective. Many leaders are uncertain of the message to deliver or the metric to go after. This gives the associate lack of clarity. Many coaching sessions can take too long and this loses the attention. Some problems are so big that they take too many coaching sessions to try and tackle it. If the problem being worked on has a lack of commitment to get better, this often has to do with an associate not understanding the why behind fixing an issue. There are four different sections to this coaching plan. Define the outcome is section one. Plan that are not successful are often the result of a poorly defined outcome. This is the part of the conversation that's going to set up the entire conversation and the coaching that goes with it. Leaders that have had an honest conversation with the why behind the metric will often find that the employee is committed to getting better in that realm. Define this outcome very specifically with black and white terms the exact metric that is going to improve, how much it's going to improve, and when it's going to improve by. The second part of the coaching plan is to identify the tools that are available. Every organization has tools at either the employees or the leader's disposal to assist with or aid in the completion of a job. If no such tools exist currently, this is a great opportunity for the leader to lead and help create these materials for their team. In this step, be sure to list out each possible tool that can play a part in the success of that defined outcome. Step three in this coaching plan is to define specific actionable behaviors. Once the outcome has been identified and every tool available has been identified, now it's time to identify specific things the employee can do to improve their performance. The behaviors that are defined here need to come from the employee as they should be an authentic representation of what the employee does and who they are. These behaviors should be actionable in a way that it is something that can be seen or heard by the leader, meaning that it is something that they are saying, something that they are doing. The fourth step in this coaching plan is to agree upon the support that is needed. If an employee is struggling in a metric, it is usually due to one of two factors. One, the employee doesn't know that they're struggling in that metric, or two, that the employee does not understand or is not comfortable in moving that metric forward. Either one of these reasons needs a plan to improve it and the employee is going to collaborate with the leader in order to improve that metric. The employee needs to understand the outcome and how the, to achieve that goal. The leader needs to understand how to best support that employee. Support can include showing how to do the process lined out in the actionable behaviors, giving the employee recognition, positive feedback, or even tough love. The support needed will vary based on the employee and the best method to support them. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video or found it informational, be sure to click the like button. We would love to hear your favorite methods to coach or even to be coached in the comment sections below. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well to get all the latest videos for leadership lessons. Thanks again guys.